Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trent Weldon and welcome back to the channel, Well Done Tanks. Tonight we are going to be talking about how one of these little air pumps can save your fish. So what do I mean that one of these small air pumps can save your fish, right? Like what am I talking about here? So for reference, this is the nano USB air pump that Aquarian Co-op has brought in. Um, I used to run this entire fish room. This is my laundry room, kind of the holding area for all the fish until they build a new fish room. I used to run these exclusively with these nano USB air pumps. Um, a card will be up in the corner. You can watch that video. Uh, you can actually watch a video where I uh, changed all of these filters or changed the air system out in here, but I've definitely used these pumps in very specific applications. And this is still one of my favorite pumps. I have about 12 of these now. I'd say I used to run like nine of them in here, but I have these, these are, I really have them for backup now. Um, traveling, traveling with fish, recommend this. And one of the biggest reasons is it's a USB plug-in. Now they do include an adapter. You can plug this into, then it plugs into a regular outlet like any USB product. But these are really quiet, but they also provide a decent amount of power in this little pump. You know, with the, with the clip, if you're moving with fish, you put the fish into a bucket, you attach an air stone to the air pump, you plug this into your car, and you're on your way to go. But now, let's really get into how this little pump can save your fish. All right, so it is inevitable wherever you live, you're going to face a power outage. It's going to happen. You know, some areas are more prone to power outages, some are not. I haven't had a power outage in probably both houses I lived in now for about two years, but there was, I, when I used to live up northern Utah, we had power outages, like it happens, right? Big winter storm blows in, winds come through, like it's going to happen. Now this is more of an application if you have maybe one tank or a, a, you know, a handful of tanks. If you have an entire fish room, that's something completely different, but you still could use this to power an entire fish room if you chose to do so. But today's application, this is gonna be for those of you who have just a couple tanks and wanna have a few of these on standby. So I will be leaving a link down in the description below that you can buy this exact air pump. I believe there's also some different types of this air pump on Amazon. I'll leave a link to those as well. But I bought mine from Aquarian Co-op because that's the first place I've found out about these and absolutely fell in love with these. So let's get into what I'm talking about. Most of us will have one of these little power bricks. I picked this up from Walmart, I think for like eight bucks. It was in the checkout aisle. I was like, oh yeah, I need one of those. You know, throw it on, do anything think about it. I've carried these around on vacations for my phone. I've charged my phone off of these. I remember when I was in California with my wife, we were out doing some you know, activities and my phone started dying, so I pulled out the power brick. These are super simple to use, really cheap. I have another one that actually has an adapter that plugs right into the wall to charge. Um, this one does take a micro USB to be plugged into a USB adapter, but the benefit of this particular model is it has two USB connections, meaning I can power two of these USB air pumps off of one of these power bricks. So I have used this when I moved to this house. I put all my fish in buckets. I hooked up like six USB air pumps. I think I had one going to the car, a couple going to this, and like a couple more power bricks, all set up. Now I do wanna do a test to kind of give a broad spectrum of how long one of these will power one of these pumps. And maybe I'll do that here at the end of the video, kind of you know plug this in, let it run, and show you how long I think this can actually run. But super cheap option. You can find these all over Amazon. You can find these all over Walmart, Target, like wherever you live, you should be able to find a small power brick. Then you accompany that with a USB air pump and you're set. Like it's so simple. You know, this is gonna plug right into this power brick and already it's running. Now this one does come with like a digital readout of how much power is left on this. Air pump's running right now. Like it's that simple. So I recommend if you have a handful of tanks and you wanna save your fish in a power outage, even if you are running a hang on the back filter, a sump, like, like any type of filtration, it's gonna run on electrical. So if you can have a sponge filter, even an air stone, like you don't necessarily need, I'm lucky because I run sponge filters, 
but even if you just had a simple air stone to drop into the tank, you hook it up to the power bar, you hook it up to the USB air pump, it's still going to provide some circulation to that tank and potentially save your fish from complete disaster. So I hope this tip has helped someone. Uh, let me know down in the comments, do you like this air pump? Have you used this air pump? Or do you have another creative way to handle a power outage in your area? So guys, thank you for watching. Again, I'm Trent Weldon. This is Well Done Tanks, and we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, so kind of a, an odd ending to this video, I know. Um, it's the next day at five in the morning. I'm actually on getting ready to go out to work, but I was uh, doing the test here on how long one of these little power bricks could run this nano USB air pump. So this is a $5 power brick that I bought five plus years ago. And this has now been running for exactly 12 hours. Like I had a stopwatch going, it was 12 hours and some like 30 seconds, so 12 hours. And you can see we still haven't clicked, like so it's four bars, second one's still going, we still have one more full one to go through. Um, so I really think this could pretend, I mean, this could still be running, but, uh, I gotta go to work. So it's not, so I'm going to stop the test now, but 12 hours, this has been going. So if nothing else, like these little USB air pumps, with one of these power bricks could legit save your tank in a power outage. Like I would recommend this. Somebody said like, I think the pump's like eight bucks, maybe $9 now, but like power brick for five and that's gonna save your tank. Well, but, so there you go, there's a, a, uh, a test, so to say, like, this will run for a very long time, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do some, some different tests in the future, but there you have it. So guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.